What is up, people? How are we doing on this fine Monday morning or day or something? Um, here we go. I mean, let, let's get this thing going. We're going to start it off by, uh, by oh, here's our song of the day. If you don't know this song, take a look at it. All right. But let's do some learning. Who's ready to learn? Um, today we're solving, by, solving quadratics by a lot of different ways. Completing the square, factoring, and the quadratic formula. All right. First up, I'm going to let you write this one down. All right, make sure you write these problems down um, if you don't have the notes to, to work off of. Um, first, we're going to do our solve by completing the square. Okay, so to complete the square, remember, we have to move our C term to the other side. We got to move it. We got to move it. All right, so we're going to move it. Let's move it. Hey, why don't you move it? So we got x squared plus 4x. I'm going to go plus blank equals 18 plus blank. All right. Remember to find our blank. Okay. We take half of our middle term. So our B term, which is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Square the 2 and I get 4. Wow. 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 What I do to one side, I got to do to the other. That's why I add B to both sides. Here we go. This is so much fun. Who's having fun today? All right. Um, after I add my blanks, I got to complete the square. So I should have a binomial. Holy buckets. What was that? A binomial squared. Wow. Um, well, this is X. And this equals uh, 22. Remember that this number here that we're about to place. Holy buckets. There it is. All right, this number will match this number, and it will match the sign there, okay? So half of four is positive two, okay? So so we're used to doing this part, all right? So now we're going to take it one more step, okay? Because our goal here is to solve it. So we want to solve for x, mean x to be equal to something, okay? So in order to solve by completing the square, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square root of both sides, all right, after I take the square root, then why do I do that? Because X is trapped underneath uh, in the parentheses, and to get rid of a square term here, I have to take the square root. The square root is the inverse operation. It's getting kind of toasty in here. You know, got to cool down a little bit. Here we go. Square root is an inverse operation. Um, so <laughs> I just kind of look at myself in that little thing up there and wow, this mustache is looking pretty good, don't you think? Nice little horseshoe action. Um, again, square is an inverse operation, so these cancel out, right? So now I got x plus 2 equals square root of 22. But here's the deal. Whenever I solve, I need to have the plus or minus there. You have to have plus or minus. Have to have plus or minus. Must have plus or minus. To solve for x, I need to get it by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of 22. And I'd like you just to leave your answers like this. Okay, just leave it like that. All right. Um, simplify the radical if you can, but square root of 22 does not simplify. Okay, let's try another one. Why not? This is These completing the square problems, they're just so much fun okay um can you tell i'm having a lot of fun here we go so first thing i gotta do is i want to add the 42 to the other side so i have plus 42 plus 42 so i got m squared minus 2 m plus blank equals well negative 10 plus 42 is um something okay i think it's 32 why did i write 33 plus blank got it <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. So now, now, now here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause the video right now. All right. Go ahead and pause it and make sure I hope, I hope, I hope that you are listening to what I'm saying because, um, it's going to be very beneficial to you. All right. To make sure you're listening to what I'm saying. It's hard to understand what's going on if you can't hear me talking. Okay. So make sure you listen to what I'm saying. All right. I want you to pause the video now and then you're going to come back and try it and check your work. Here we go. Um, so here's my next step. Take half a negative 2 and square to get 1. All right, so I added 1. Simplifies to that. And minus 1 squared. Remember, it's negative 1 because this, this right here is negative 1 as well. All right. Um, take the square to both sides to cancel these out. 
Okay, I get m minus 1 equals plus or minus root 33. Add the 1 to both sides to get m plus 1 plus or minus square root of 33. Wow, that is weird, wild stuff. Um, here we go. Let's try another one. Actually, in this time, this time we're going to solve by the quadratic formula. Now, this is everyone's favorite formula, isn't it? I don't play favorites. That's not my. That's not how I like to live my life. But remember, remember what the quadratic formula is. You know, there's that little song that goes with it. I'm not going to sing this song. I'm, so, I'm sorry. But uh, here we go. Remember, it's x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared. Minus 4ac all over 2a, okay? Now, in order to solve by using the quadratic formula, I need my quadratic to be in standard form, meaning I, I, my quadratic has to be equal to 0. All right, well, if you'll look here, it's, there's not 0. It's in 2, right? So I need to subtract 2 from both sides, okay? And I'll have 12b squared plus 3 b minus 2 equals 0. Well, now, I like to, um, some people do this part in your head. Uh, for the sake of this first problem, I'm going to write it out. I know that a equals 12, b equals 3, and c equals negative 2. Remember, a is always the term attached to the squared. All right, b is always the term attached to x, and, negative, or, and their c is always your constant. Whoa, something just made a noise there. Wow. All right, so, who that freaked me out. Um, whoa, wow. Whew. Man, I'm a little rattled here. Okay, holy buckets, let's go. X equals opposite of B. So the opposite of B is negative 3, plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4. A is 12. C is negative 2. That looks like not a 2. So I'll rewrite that. Negative 2. And it's all over 2a or 2 times 12. All right. Um, here we go. So I'm going to simplify the inside. Negative, or excuse me, 3 squared is 9. And then I have to do negative 4. I treat this as a negative 4. All right. Um, I treat this here. Let me use the red. I treat this as a negative 4 when I multiply in my calculator. Um, you could do this whole part in your calculator. Um, let me pause that and I'll bring up my calculator. This is how I plug it into my calculator, uh, just like that, to see what number is under my square root. And I notice that I have, ooh, I, should, I have 105. So, oh, whoops. Well, this becomes, flip on the tablet here for a second. Whoa, here we're back. We are back, and we're back, and we are back. Um, negative 3 plus or minus <laughs> root 105 all over 20. You can actually, as long as, um, you know, like this square root right here, if it if you can simplify the square, whatever is underneath that square root, do it, okay? Do it, all right? Um, but in this case, I cannot, so I'm going to leave this as my final answer okay now now a lot of people will say all right well can i reduce 3 over 24 okay i can only reduce 3 over 24 if there's a number outside of my radical that goes with it okay otherwise it, it's just not possible all right um sometimes teachers in the past may have you write your answer like this like this If you wrote, if I had you write your answers like this, you could simplify it. Um, but I'm not going to have you do this, so I just want to show it to you um, because it may, you know, you may see it sometime in the future. Um, all right, so if I were to solve this one here at number four, all right, I want you to do this one again. I want you to pause our video here, okay, and then, um, and then I want you to check my or look at my work. All right, so go ahead and pause it. I'm actually I'm not going to show my work. I'm just going to show my final answer, um, or I'll show my setup. Okay, fine. I'll show my setup and then um, I'll show the final answer. All right. All right. So this is what I had. Oh. Okay, sorry. All right. So this is what I came up with. Um, I got negative six plus or minus six twenty four over fourteen. So like I said in the last problem, you want to try and simplify. God bless America. Um, you want to try and simplify whatever is underneath this square root. 
So I want to find a perfect square that multiplies into 624. Um, so I think about this, like this could be work that you do on your head or do on the side of the problem. Um, I think about simplifying a radical expression. The number, the perfect square that goes into it is 16 and uh, 39. Now, I don't, I, I like, ew, buckets. If you were to see something like this um, on an actual assessment, I don't think I'd use a number like 624. That's huge. That's kind of mean. All right, I wouldn't do that to you. Um, it'd be cleaner, but just just know that that could happen, um, or this can happen. And here here's the deal about simplifying radical expressions. If you'll remember from your previous math classes, this becomes four because the square root of sixteen is four, and this becomes root thirty nine. Okay. Um, Jeez. Oh, Whew. Yet again. All right. So this becomes. Sorry, my G chat blowing up. I'm just so popular these days. It's unreal. Just all the fans and and uh, the people out there, you know, just trying to get a hold of me. Um, and by all the people, I mean um, no one. Okay, so um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. So this is one of those cases where I can reduce. All right, I can reduce these numbers here. Okay, because it's a negative six, a four, and a fourteen. I can reduce all three of those numbers by two. Okay, I can take a two out of every single one to make our final answer negative three plus or minus two root 39 all over seven. So if, again, if this were on an assessment, all right, um, you would need to write this answer to receive full credit. If you put this here, you'd get like a point off or something like that. Okay, um, this is for fullsies. All right. Um, you know, I'm, I, I had a couple more that I wanted to do. Um, however, I, I'm running low on time. So, you know what? We're going to call it a day today. Um, what I want you to do next, uh, or you know what to do next is on the agenda. Um, hopefully that helped. Uh, if you have some questions, just let me know. All right. I'm here for you. Have a great rest of your day. Adios.